Hey, child of God, I feel impressed to share with you five reasons that you need to think before you speak. I, you know, traveling around the world and all the emails and mail and phone calls we get here at the ministry, I, I can't tell you how many hundreds, and I'm sad to say even thousands of people have made statements like, I'm never going to get out of debt. You know, I, I'll never get ahead. Uh, the devil's always attacking me. Nobody cares about me. Nobody understands me. I don't have any friends. Hear, hear me very clear. When you speak words like that, you're speaking doubt and fear instead of faith and encouragement. And the words that you speak take on a life of their own. Words have power. And, and the words that you speak, well, they need to encourage. They need to encourage you instead of discourage you. They need to bring you happiness instead of sorrow. They need to help you get out of debt instead of keeping you in debt. They need to heal you rather than keeping you sick. Words that, well, they just need to be able to help you turn your life around. And that's why I feel impressed to share with you five, well, five reasons to think before you speak. Number one, words can make you satisfied or dissatisfied with who you are and what you're doing. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 14 in the Amplified Bible. From the fruit of his words, a man shall be satisfied with good, and the work of a man's hands shall come back to him as a harvest. Number two, your words will either bring a reward or punishment. For this one, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 14 in the contemporary English version. We are rewarded or punished by, why, by what we say and what we do. Number three, wise words, well spoken. Words spoken from a heart of righteousness will bring benefits into your life. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 14, this time in the New Living Translation. Wise words bring many benefits and hard work brings rewards. Number four, your words have consequences and you decide whether they're good or whether they're evil. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 20 in the Amplified Bible. A man's moral self shall be filled with the fruit of his mouth and with the consequences of his words, he must be satisfied whether good or evil. Words will either bring you life or words will bring you death. Now that's uh, number five. And for that, obviously, it's Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life were in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whether your words bring life or death is up to you. Now let me give you a different translation of Proverbs 18.21 in the Message Bible. Words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Now here's the bottom line, and it's found in the contemporary English version of Proverbs 18.21. Make your words good, you'll be glad that you did. In conversations with people, make sure you think before you speak because once that word comes out of your mouth, you can't take it back. And sometimes we speak things in haste to hurt. So if you've hurt someone by the words that you speak, just pray that there be a healing on their heart. Or if people have spoken words to you that hurt, just pray that God put a hedge of protection around your heart to keep you from ever being hurt again. Words are power. Words speak life and death. They bring reward and punishment, and they'll make you satisfied or unsatisfied. But the key to this is you've got the choice. You choose what you speak. And remember, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's why it's so important that you just continually fill yourself with the pure of the power from the positive from the Word of God. And that way, when you do speak, you'll be speaking from the Word of God. And that's what I call some red stuff.